Hello everyone, welcome to the video. I'm going to be showing you one of the coolest commands for terraforming. And that's a little bit of a secret. Not a lot of people know about this command. I'm actually quite surprised. Now let me show you how it works. Number one, we do need to give ourselves a command block. So let's give ourselves a command block right here. And the next step is to sort of explain how it works because if you understand how it works, you can use it for anything. So I'm gonna do a small demo. It's really not very long, so don't worry. And we can go just like this. And let's say we're gonna go 10 blocks up. Let's actually go uh, minus 10 and let's do stone. And we need to fly up so we don't you know, put a hole in the ground, which is actually a great example of where that's a bit of an issue. Um, so there we go. Now, if I go down to the ground, now it's, it's in the ground, right? That's a bit of a problem. Our stone pillar here just went in the ground because it followed me. And that's great when you want it to follow you and be 10 blocks below your position. But sometimes you want to lock to level 38, for example, in, in my case. So what you can do is do tilde, no tilde this time, 38, and then tilde. So now it's locked in place. So when I do stone, it's going to stay there and I can fly up and it will always be locked in that position. It will never go below. It will never go above. It's going to stay right there. And if I do go down to the ground, uh, just like this, and I do the command again, it will go all the way up to 38. So it locks it in place at 38, which is really, really convenient. So if you do have, let's say, a wall that you're working on and you want to have some sort of curve or something interesting going on, uh, just like this right here, um, and you have a bit of a, of a wireframe going on, we just, um, just do a bit of a thing. There we go. So we have some interesting terrain that we have going. We can use this to fill it in. So we can just go all the way through. Oops, sorry, I didn't show you how to do the second part. So now we can stick that in a command block. But first, command blocks will activate when you have them on always active, which is something we need. So when I turn it on always active, we're gonna get say hello, and then we it won't have say hello after that. So now when you put in the command, it will not activate. The reason this is important is because when we go over to here and activate the command or place the command, it will activate. So that's where it's important to make sure it's on always active. So it's automatically activating and it will lock to 38. Now I did actually forget to to copy the command into the command blocks. Let me actually do that real quick. I copied and pasted the wrong command. So the command is this one. So fill tilde 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 38 tilde stone. Uh, 38 is whatever whatever location you want to lock to. In my case, it is 38. For you, it might be 52 or something else. I don't really know uh, what it would be. Um, but this means that we can just do something like this and fill in the terrain uh, very, very, very conveniently and get some cool effects this way. And I'm not going to do the entire terrain because that would take a little bit of time. But hopefully you can sort of see what I'm talking about that it just helps you fill stuff in so much faster and it's really, really convenient. Like it's definitely one of my favorite uh, commands that I use for terraforming a lot on real projects. It's not just some trick or something that I made up for this video. This is a real thing that I use in production while working on Minecraft maps for YouTubers or build teams or anyone that I, I work for. This is a very common thing if I'm required to build on bedrock i'm probably going to be doing this and especially because it's one command no matter what world i'm on it will always work because it's a single command just that alone is something to really like there's not a lot of other world edit like commands or th assistance things like this that are a single command so it's uh, definitely a keeper to say the least anyway Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any suggestions, comments, or questions. Uh, by the way, just to, to show you this over here, this is whenever you lock it to two positions. You can lock it to two or you can lock it to three. It doesn't really matter. You can uh, do tildes on one and then positions on another. It really does not matter. It lets you do it basically any way that you want. Uh, so hopefully that makes sense. You can try it out, play around with it. It's a really cool command. So anyway, hope you guys have a great, wonderful, sublime day and God bless.